it's me and Duffer, a friend's dog. I'm gonna eat him tonight. I need my protein. That's it. I'm a vegan, man. I'm a vegan because I don't believe any animal has to suffer in order for me to thrive. I believe everything we need is found in raw plant food. I believe that, you know, a peaceful philosophy begins at breakfast, continues at lunch, and concludes with dinner. I don't eat, I don't eat honey, man. I eat 100% vegan, 100% raw vegan. I've been 100% raw vegan for over three years now. Before that, I was high raw and vegan, so vegan for seven years now. But I've developed a condition, a rare condition called Mango Madness. Most people <laughs> don't get this condition, but I've just contracted it today. I'll show you what I mean. I've got all these mangoes. I just foraged so many mangoes. The box exploded off my bike trailer. <laughs> and I got some biodynamic war paint melons and some more Bowen mangoes off a local farmer. He just gave them to me because he thought I was a crazy dude. So. You know, I can, well from where I'm standing right now, 600 meters away, there's a supermarket selling mangoes for four dollars each, and I have people in this community tell me, "Oh my God, raw vegan, that'll be like so expensive," and I just got over a thousand dollars worth of produce for free, just for being who I am, and going out there and being in nature and doing a bit of bird watching and picking mangoes and helping farmers do the right thing. Have you heard that saying, "Organic farmers do it better." very true so another thing I was going to cover tonight is teeth because people say you know if you eat a lot of fruit you'll rot your teeth but I've been like I said 100% raw vegan for over three years now before that was four years high raw eating at least 50 kilos which is about 100 something pounds of sweet fruit per week and look at my teeth stick it on my teeth man <laughs> in fact they're getting better I used to have a lot of dental problems before I went vegan and now uh, it's all good and I don't get my teeth cleaned by anyone, I haven't had any teeth surgery done at all, you know, things like that. So this is my natural teeth, man, no, no cosmetic, no touch-up, this is just the real deal. And my skin, I used to have hardcore acne all over my face, back and shoulders and chest. And now I have a look at my skin, man. How's that for a bit of vanity? <laughs> you know, so if you want a good skin, man, eat a low-fat, raw vegan diet. Hardline, you know, I coach people and they're like, "Oh, Harley, I've, I've been doing this thing for, for like, you know, for years now, and I'm still, I've still got the chronic fatigue, I've still got the, you know, type two diabetes, I've still got the, you know, the irritable bowel syndrome," and I'm like, "Nah, man, you ain't been doing it. Because if you've been doing it for three years, man, you still got those problems. You ain't doing it right. You, you're cheating on the side, man. You're cheating yourself. You can't boil water at 99 degrees Celsius." It's got to be 100%, man, 100 degrees, you know. See, if you want the right results, man, you got to do 100%. You can't do 99% and expect to get 100%, man. It does not happen that way. It's, uh, you know, every discipline effort is met with multiple reward. If you want it, man, go out and get it. Don't make some fucking piss-ass excuses, man. The only thing that's stopping you from where you are right now to where you want to be is those excuses you tell yourself to justify your complacency, man. Oh, you know, it costs too much, or it's antisocial, or this is too hard, or what's the point, or I'm doing better than everyone else, or I'm doing better than I used to, or I don't know if it really works, and, but you know, it's like, man, <laughs> stop the bullshit, man. Only when we're honest with ourselves will we develop enough energy for lasting change. You know, it's that wake-up call, it's that slap in the face when we say enough is enough, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the results I want. So I congratulate you if you've got that attitude, man. If you don't have the attitude, it's time to get it, man. Everything you need is within you now. You know, so don't fly to Tibet to go and, you know, go to some temple to try and find, you know, enlightenment or whatever, man. It's all within you right now. Just got to withdraw it out. Go out to nature, go sit in your back lawn. Go lay naked on your back lawn, you know, do things like that, simple things, get in contact with nature, because when you're in nature, man, that's when, that's when powerful things happen, like, look at this frangipani, you know, things like that, so, do the right things, get the right results, enough of the piss-ass excuses, man, go out there and do it, when, when we stand up and commit, nothing can stand in your way, yo.